What's up guys, Kobe Cheese here with another gameplay of the Diablo 3 beta and this time I'm going to be showing you guys the monk and some of his different abilities and how he plays out and stuff like that. So let's just jump in here. I just changed the quest to Reign of the Black King which is the final one that you can do in the beta. Not There's not very much gameplay. The actual, uh, the actual beta only lasts like an hour, you know, per champion obviously. But I think it's only about third way through the actual... Act one, so that's fine. I, I guess I'm okay with that. Monk is pretty neat. Like, he's got some interesting stuff. He's very odd in the way he works. You can either pick up, like, a bow staff, or you can go dual wield with these fist weapons. I actually created these two fist weapons. You can check out my my crafting video if you want to uh, if you want to see how the blacksmith works. Um, for now, though, let me show you some of the monk's moves. And I'm gonna jump down here and open this door because it takes like a decade for this thing to unlock itself. But uh, let's jump in here. I've got three slots unlocked so far on the monk. I'm level uh, nine, yeah, so level nine. That's about how what level you'll be. You'll be around level eight when you beat the Black King. So I'm not gonna be too overpowered, but you know, it is pretty easy. So the way he works is he's got spirit generators and then spirit spinners. He's kind of like the barbarian in that sense. So. I don't know, they could have technically called it Fury, but I guess that Spirit is, rather than um, rather than having to build Fury up, you you just always have Spirit at the max, but when you spend it, I don't think that it regenerates unless you use the Spirit Generators. I don't know, I can't remember, but, <laughs> but that's just kind of giving you an idea of how it works. So we're gonna go in there, and right now, um, let me just go ahead and go down there. Right now I've got, uh, for my left click, I've got Crippling Wave which is a spirit um, generator. And this one is more of an AOE ability, so it doesn't give me more damage on my attacks, but what it does is it will do more of an AOE type of attack on my normal attacks, and then it slows enemies down by 50%. So if I need to like run away from enemies, then I can do that. Cool thing about it is it does like three series of attacks. See, so it does that, that, and then like a boom. And then I can do some spirit spenders the ones I have right now are Lethal Decoy, which is awesome. It creates this decoy and they automatically attack it and it doesn't have health, so it's not like a it's not like a thing that it'll die super fast if you're fighting hard enemies. No, it'll literally last as long as it needs to, which is I think five seconds, and then it explodes and does more damage. So I have that, and then I've got Breath of Heaven, which actually heals me. So I don't really need that. I had that on because I was doing the Leoric, and Leoric does a lot of damage, so I was healing myself. So instead of Breath of Heaven for now, I'll show you... Uh, uh, dashing Strike, that's cool. This helps you get in to fight quickly. So let me go ahead and just blow that up. So I'm gonna dash in, I'm gonna put down a decoy, and then watch, we're gonna, they're all gonna attack that. Okay, <laughs> never mind. I killed it, I used the terrain to kill him apparently, so let me kill this guy. Well, my spirit is actually really low from spinning it on those abilities. So I gotta attack some guys regularly before I can spin more. No big deal. Alright, so let's see. So that's kind of the way I like to play the monk, is I'll dash in, use a decoy, and then just use my crippling wave. And I don't really take any damage. It's pretty cool. If they were hard enemies and they were still fighting that thing, I would be able to sit there and brutalize those guys for like five seconds and not even have to worry about it. Um, that does that that whole combo does take a lot of spirit though. So if you're fighting weak enemies like these guys, you don't really need to do all that. Like technically, I don't need to dash in and all that, but it's fun. Boom! All right, so so dash in is obviously really cool. It does 50% um, of your damage. It's not like a ton, but it's cool. And let me show you another one. So lashing tail kick. So instead of doing my dash in, I'll just run up and I'll just start attacking stuff. I gotta build up my spirit again. And it doesn't build up too fast. Because these guys are so weak, it's like, I only get to hit them once, you know. And my fist weapons are pretty strong. Another interesting thing to think about is when you're playing the monk, if you pick up like a big two-handed, like a slow two-handed weapon, you're gonna be attacking real slow. I've got these really fast um, fist weapons on, so I can attack super fast. And that's the way I like to play. Like, it's more fun for me to attack lightning fast on the monk than it is to be all slow. So anyways, let's fight this guy here. I'm gonna build up my spirit. And I've got this lashing tail kick. Watch what it does. Boom! Like, Rana House kicks the mofo. Like, Chuck Norris. I just Chuck Norris that guy. That's what I did. It's got a pretty long cooldown. I don't like that too much. 
Boom! So I killed him. Now, normally when I'm fighting a big guy like that, here, let me take off this decoy. Like, I would like to have the decoy, but another cool thing you can do is use, like, evasion. So he's got these things called mantras, and you can pop this mantra on, and what it does is it gives me a big chance to dodge. So the monk's all about being up in, in uh, combat, but not actually taking damage. So he's got, like, the decoy to not take damage. He's got the mantra of evasion, so I can do things like have that mantra of evasion, and then instead of like lashing tail kick, which I don't really like lashing tail kick, it doesn't seem like that good of a ability. It does a little bit of extra damage, but I'd rather just do my spirit generators instead of wasting spirit on that when I can use spirit on better stuff. So um, I'd rather use like my decoy, you know, and my mantra of evasion and just not take any damage. So I've already showed you the decoy though. I'll show you some of the other ones. Uh, blinding flash. This actually makes it so the enemies can will not attack you if they're in the area, and then. Um, the ones that are attacking you will actually have a reduced chance of hitting you. So not only am I going to have a 30% chance to dodge, but they're going to have another 30% chance of missing me on attacks. Now they won't attack me unless I'm directly attacking them, so let me show you how that works. I'm going to run in the middle of all these guys. I'm going to do the blinding flash. Now all those guys see the things above their head, they're not even going to attack me because they're blinded. Alright, so that's a cool one there. Um, let's see, what else we got? We got a bunch of guys trying to kill me, so let me kill these guys real fast. Um, blinding flash these guys. You don't really need a blinding flash, to be honest. Um, let me show you some more of the actual spirit generators. So let's do the deadly reach. Now this one's a little bit different. Instead of slowing things down, it actually does a lot of extra damage. So the last one does not do extra damage, but it was the AoE and it slowed them, right? This one has like a long reach to it and does a lot of extra damage. And it's good for like lines of enemies. So if you can get enemies to line up in a, uh, in like a line, it's gonna be pretty strong. This one's kinda cool, it's like you're like, just attacking them without even hitting them with your real feet and stuff. It's like spirit feet. That's not spirit fingers, this is spirit fingers! Anyways, that's the way I feel about that one. <laughs> Monk's really complex. I think he's like one of those dudes that are like, he's strong, but the way to play him properly can be quite complex that people wouldn't understand at first. Like he seems simple and that, oh, I'm just gonna like left click on things. But no, that's more like what the Barbarian would do. Monk is like, you need to use your stuff in conjunction properly to where you don't use too much spirit on the wrong stuff. And you know when to actually expend your spirit properly and which monsters to use together and things like that. That's kind of the cool thing about the monk is he, he has that component to him. So let me show you. Let's see, we've got uh, Mantra of Evasion. I've been using that one for lowball. We've also got Mantra of Retribution. This one's pretty cool because anything that attacks you is actually going to take damage 30% of what they do to you. So that's neat. So if you want to just make people pay for hitting you, it's kind of like the Paladin's uh, Thorns are, if you remember that from Diablo 2. Deadly Reach. Alright, so I showed you Deadly Reach. That one does a lot of extra damage at a pretty decent range. Um, you, used to do, you can also do Facial Thunder. This one doesn't do any extra damage, but it has a 50% chance to interrupt enemy attacks. So, I don't know. I guess that can be pretty cool if you're fighting some big guys that are going to be hitting you really hard. If you're fighting... See how fast it attacks? Let me show you. This one's pretty cool just because it attacks so fast. If you're fighting a bunch of big guys and they're hitting you hard, then this would probably be one nice one to use. Just for the fact that you don't want to take damage, once again. As, as I was saying, the monk is all about reducing damage that he takes by not getting hit at all. Whereas the barbarian is probably more like reducing damage taken by just literally reducing the damage taken. Monk, you have to try and get people to not hit you at all. So, I don't know. Overall, my favorite way to play the monk is to probably use my... Um, I like to use that little long range fist thing, so I like to use this one right here, Deadly Reach. It's like my favorite. And then I don't really use any mantras right now because I've only got four slots. Okay, these guys need to shut up. Seriously. Maintain your incantations. Right, I'm gonna kill these guys because they will not shut up while I'm trying to talk, and that is rude. I'm talking like so rude. Okay, now that they're dead. To my mission. Okay, so. Um, Mantra, don't really care about that right now, but normal. I guess when I hit level 12, I'd probably unlock, I'd use like one Mantra, you know, use like Mantra of Evasion. 
Uh, Lashing Tail Kick, don't really like that one. My favorite thing, though, is Lethal Decoy. I think that's probably my favorite spell so far from the Monk. And Dashing Strike is pretty cool, except for the fact that it uses Spirit. It's not too much, though, I guess. Um, the only problem with Lethal Decoy is it does it cost so much, so you don't really want to use it all that much. Breath of Heaven is nice whenever I'm fighting the bosses. I guess I'll show you. Let me take some damage. You will know soon enough. Cool thing about it is it's good in a group if you're Tell me, what if you're in a group it'll heal you place. and your allies. So let me just sit here and get hit. The cultists dragged me past this globe. Hopefully these guys will actually do damage. What made it? I've come here to find out. <laughs> these skeletons suck, man. Maybe this guy will do more damage to me. Alright, so so I took some damage, and I'm gonna kill these guys. I just push blinding flash and boom, instant kill. Of course, it uses quite a bit of uh, spirit, but I can get it back if I'm fighting a bunch of guys. If I'm actually fighting someone that is going to warrant me healing myself, I can probably get enough spirit to use it consistently. So, overall, I think that's cool, but I would stick with Dashing Strike, Decoy, and my Deadly Reach. He's free! Do not let him re -off. Let's see if the Decoy can kill him on, on its own. There it is. So, <laughs> it just blows up and kills him. Anyways, guys, that's the Monk. He's pretty fun to use. He is very powerful if you know how to use him properly. He's very squishy, though, so you have to be careful and not get stuck in the middle of guys and getting hit. So know how to use, knowing how to use that decoy and dashing strike to get in and out of battles is really smart. Also, you don't want to use too much spirit um, spells because you'll run out so fast. And it's a very, very slow regeneration. And by slow regeneration, I mean it doesn't regenerate until you attack. So something to know, right? Something to know. Um... Anyways, guys, if you want to see my last gameplay video, then that will be the um, Witch Doctor. And I'll show you guys that one here pretty soon. Make sure that you subscribe so you know when that one's out. Also, if you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button. And I'll see you around for the next one. Peace out.